In this video, we will learn another simple optional strategy for our bearish market. But before getting started, if you love our efforts, do like this video and subscribe to Sensible's YouTube channel. Before we begin, let me tell you that this is the seventh episode in the options strategy series. In the first six episodes, we have covered the basic option strategies, compared them and also covered the bull call spread strategy. Please watch the previous video before watching this video and you can watch those videos right here. The bear call spread can be taken when your view of the market is moderately bearish to neutral. It's basically a sell call with limited loss. So how do we do it? As usual, there are two ways in which you can trade a bear call spread strategy. First, open Sensible Strategy Builder page, go to ready-made strategy section and in bearish strategies, click on bear call spread. As you can see here, a bear call spread is automatically added for you to analyze it. If you want to change the strikes and the expiry of the contracts, you can do it right here like this. The other way of doing is to open the Sensible Strategy Builder page, click on build new custom strategy button and from this option chain pop up, select the call strike which you want to sell and buy a higher call which has a lower premium as a hedge here. In this strategy, when you sell the call option, you receive the premium and when you buy a call option, you pay the premium. So the net premium you received is the premium received minus premium paid. Since in this strategy, you are receiving the premium. That's why this strategy is called net credit strategy. The call option sold is usually ATM and the call option bought is OTM. You can choose to do it with the ITMs as well instead of ATM. Now, once you have added the strategy in the builder, you can analyze it and see how this strategy is likely to perform in future using this price and the time slider. In bear call spread strategy, the maximum loss you will have is the difference between the strike minus the net premium. In our case, premium received is 90 rupees and premium paid is 20 rupees. So the net premium is 90 minus 20, that is 70 rupees. And the strike difference is 200. As we have chosen 20,200 and 20,400 as our strikes. So 200 minus 70, that is 130. And when you multiply it with the lot size 50, you get your max loss 6,500 rupees which you can see here. In this strategy, the maximum profit you will have is the net premium received. That is 70 rupees in our case. When you multiply it with the lot size 50, you get 3500 rupees and that you can see here. And obviously, you don't have to do this every time. Our strategy builder will keep this data ready for you. Now let's analyze the payoff chart of the bear call spread strategy. As you can see here, you have sold a call option at 20,200 strike by receiving the premium and you have bought a call option at a higher strike, 20,400 strike and you paid the premium for that. As you can see here, you'll incur the max loss in this strategy if Nifty expires above 20,400 level and you will make your max profit if Nifty expires below 20,200 strike. Also, you can see that this is the breakeven point point of your strategy. So if Nifty expires below the break-even point, then you will make some profit. And if Nifty expires above the break-even point, then you will make some losses. Now comes the big question. How much money do I need to take this strategy? Well, as you can see here, you will need at least 30,000 to 32,000 in the margin to take this trade. Remember, to get the margin benefit, you should execute your buy leg first and then your sell leg or else the capital requirement will increase. Here, the margin required is much less if you compare it with the call selling strategy since you have hedged your positions here. Now let's see the pros and cons of this strategy. First pros, number one, as time passes by, you will gain due to theta decay. Number two, the margin required is way less than the naked call sell and your max loss is also defined in this strategy whereas it is unlimited when you sell a call option. Talking about the cons, there is only one con here that you tend to make losses if IV goes up. This is because when IV goes up, the option prices also go up and as a person who has taken a bear call spread strategy, they expect the price of the option to fall drastically as that's when they make money. So guys, this was our video on the bear call spread strategy. If you loved this video, hit that like button and subscribe to Sensible's YouTube channel. And finally, share your learnings in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.